Hello and welcome to episode 4 of my Stellar Overload tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on doing the quest Retake the Observatory. Um, before I begin I'd just like to say Happy New Year to you all. I hope that you have a wonderful year. Okay so let's carry on from, I've climbed up the stairs to where the lift is but I wanted to show you once again the um, hover bike which is just here. So if we go over to it and you get the right place, there you go, just walk in. To get in or out of the hover bike, press F. Control the hover bike with the WSAD and control and control its elevation with the space bar and left control. So space bar takes you up, the left control takes you down. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so if I do the W key to come out of here, the first thing you'll want to do, keep the space bar pressed, get yourself well off the ground, otherwise the hover bike will get jammed in rocks and holes and all sorts. So the first thing that I want to do uh, before going to do this quest there, retake the observatory, is I want to, you'll notice in my pocket I've been picking up lots of things which I can't show you while I'm on the hover bike but needless to say I need to empty my pockets so the best thing for me to do before I go off trying to take the observatory is over here you will notice this structure this, and it's on our way to the quest but this will come into play as being important um, as we progress so what I would recommend, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a little house here and I'm going to store all my belongings so let's put that down and get off and fall down the hole let's get out the hole so I parked that rather, rather badly just by a hole but what we can do which is great about uh, the stellar overload, oops, is we can fill in them holes which I do absolutely love it does take a little getting used to though I have to say there we go, that's it, covered up enough right, so what I'm going to do over here is build myself a little house where I can store all my items. It's going to have to be out of dirt because that's the only thing at the moment I've got lots of. So what I will do first of all is put a floor down. Like I say it's easiest to just walk and do this as you can see the way the blocks go. When you let go it puts it down for you. Okay, now I just need to do two more, this side. Now try and put in the walls. So it is very easy. There's no messing around with it. Oh, let's make sure I line that up. Yep, there. And apologies for it getting dark. I will put down some glow blocks in a moment. There we go. You just sort. You have to sort of walk as you do the blocks. Otherwise, they have a mind of their own. Okay. 
Oh, that's why. I oh, didn't have enough blocks left in there. So, where's my dirt? Oh, I've used up 10,000 dirt. That's not good. But I can get a load more, of course, which is what I'm going to have to do. So, for this bit, let's use probably any other. I've only got eight of these blocks, so this isn't going to do a lot. I could rip these up, I guess. I wasted these. So I haven't got nowhere near enough to, to have it this big. So what I might have to do is remove some of the tops. Because I don't actually need it to be that high at the moment. Let's use my gauntlet actually. That would be much quicker then. And I'll have to just build it bigger when I've got more dirt. Maybe a hundred thousand dirt. Or maybe get another material, stone. Yeah, the reason I did it this big is because it said I had 10,000 dirt, but remember it's done on mass, so though it said 10,000, it's probably only 100 dirt. Anyway, right, okay, let's just quickly now put down a small remainder of walls on here. So look, where's my dirt gone? Yes, it says I've got 2,000, but that's only 445. So I want it just high enough to make sure nothing can get in. Get that lined up. Yeah. No, I don't want to go that way. I want to go up. Mm. There we go, that'll do. Right, so what I need to do now is punch a door. And I don't think I've actually got access to making doors yet. But what I do want to do is put down some of these items. So first thing is that I need to clear out some of the space in my pocket. And you'll remember previously I picked up loads of them storage containers. So we've got these crafting cabinets. Let's put them down. And let's see, we've got these large pots. Right, so let's... Put the crafting cabinets down. Remember if you press the R key it will rotate them. Oh. And you don't want to do what I just done, press the right key to place it. So let's try that again. Left key to, left key to place. Okay, we'll put that right beside it. Now these pots we'll put down here. Come on, you know you want to go in there. Right, 
Right, that's all of them placed. Also, what I can place down is the uh, foundry and the forge. And let's see, I should have a workbench somewhere as well. Oh, medical cabinet, might as well put that down. Okay, so let's put this foundry over here. And let's put this beside it. There we go. Alright, let's start emptying out my pockets. You do get much bigger containers, which I will need to find. So, stuff I can put in here. These crates are handy for climbing on if you get stuck in an awkward place. So, for now, I'm just going to throw all the junk that I don't need at the moment in there. In all of these. And there will be a lot of stuff you will have in your pocket at the moment you just don't need. And in actual fact I'll keep the large crate in case I need to climb on that. bit of space. Uh, that I may as well place down. They don't have as much space as the large pots but they're still useful. You can still keep stuff in them. Right okay so do I need, let's put my ores in here because I won't be needing them yet. These I should really keep on me for the healing uh, beddy kits. What's this? Oh, Lumix I will need. Power cables, I don't think I'll need just yet. Okay, well that's it looking a bit tired here. Um, I actually, I want to get back one item that I put in here for making medikits cotton and let's actually make some medikits there we go so I've got nine of them right so that's my pocket space freed up oh I could put the workbench down because I don't think I'll be needing that in my pocket Right, so, and I can't make a door yet, I don't think. Let's go and have a look. <coughs> no, we, we need to unlock all of the recipes. That's just the uh, smelting assembly state. No, so I haven't unlocked the door yet, but when I do, then I will make myself a door for here. For now, let's... I'm going to leave the hover bike here by my base simply because it's, it's, it's very handy for zipping around to the other sides of the planets and the if you get shot by the aliens it will do, by the robots they'll destroy it so I leave it there because I don't want to risk it getting destroyed let's head to the observatory which is just over here
Okay, you'll see that the door is locked, so we need to find a different way in. If we walk around here, you'll see there's these steps down, so let's go down here. First thing to do, of course, is to bind ourselves. So let's do that. Also, don't forget to loot this. And now we need to get through this obstacle course. So the first one we just jump over, the next one we crouch under and jump over the last one. Always check for items. Oh, very nice, a load of bullets. And the second type, the explosive bullet. So if I go over to my pistol, go into my pocket, I can now load them as a secondary. There we go. So we're bound in here, so I don't mind if I die because it's not far to get back. Now they, as you can see now, are going to start attacking me. But I don't want to waste all my bullets, so I'll be needing them. Yeah, I prefer to save the bullets for the harder robots. I'm going to rush in and do them as they spawn. Take far less damage. Oh, they still killed me. Yeah, so you're going to die. Not a problem though. Thankfully here there is a respawn chamber. Now once we complete the observatory we will get the perfect weapon for dealing with these. I mean the perfect weapon. over here. Oh, there's our first nasty, so we're going to use the laser pistol. Take him out nice and quick. Let's grab this. Clone screens. Some of them are just decorative, others are most useful. Oh, another one. I love that laser pistol, really do. See how quickly you can destroy the robots. But of course, you will run out of bullets. So, until we get this other weapon, we have to be very careful with our ammunition. What am I doing? Right, so these are up on the ceiling. I'm gonna to have to let them fall before I can attack them. Or there's no, you have to get around them. You have to, yeah. So they're gonna to have to let them loose. I don't think I took too much damage there. Yeah, that weren't too bad. That is bad. See my health, how quickly it went down. Very nasty, these aliens, robots. Right, let's heal myself.
Oh, there's two of them. Ugh. I got one of them. Yeah, very easy to die in this. Very easy to die. sounds as well them robots. Uh, see, always keep your eyes peeled. For them recipes. And like these crates will come in handy if I need to use them to jump over. Okay, so let's open this door. So she's back around this way. Ah, oh, look at the pile of them. Oh, and to say to shoot at me, I think the laser and another robot. This is nasty. Look at that. At least they drop bullets. Here's our first bigger container. Now look at that. Very, very nice. With some explosive material. That is the ammunition. Which is great. Oops. Let's grab that. Ammo chest. So very, very useful. Oh. That's nasty. He was waiting in there for me. To dispose of them, otherwise they will give you some pain. Another one down there. There we go. Right, so recipe over there, door up there, but first we have to go down there. And the trouble is, I don't think I've got enough materials to do this. I might need to go get a load of dirt. Um, because you're going to see I need to do lots of ledges. Um, well, let's try, and if I die, I can then go and get a load of dirt. Oh, I really didn't want to waste them like that. That didn't matter. What I'd meant to use was my dirt, not my glow lights.
Okay, this one's a little trickier to get to. Oh, I think I'm out of dirt. Um, what on earth? Oh, another one of these. Well, that caught me out. I've got a tiny little bit of life left. That doesn't matter. Let's see. I need to put some more. Oh, no. I'm out of everything. So, let's just try and jump down. I'm going to die. But that's good because then I can go and get some more dirt. Now, I believe there's a switch down there. Oh, dead. Right, okay. Let's quickly go out of here. Get me a load of dirt. Right, hopefully that should be enough. So let's go back in. this room. So what I can now do is, you know what, get rid of these lights. do that. Ah. Ah. Well that's what happens if you go on that floor. It electrifies you. There's the timer. Um, I'll end this episode here I think because I've got to get through this well, I'll start the next episode in this room. Um, I do want to try and show all of the little puzzles and everything and how I personally get around them. Uh, the one thing about uh, Stellar Overload is, no doubt you've all got your own different ways of uh, tackling the obstacles. But there's two things down there that we want. One's a recipe and the other is a button. Uh, we also want that recipe over there 
and we then want to, once we push the button, it will open that door. So we're going to do all of that in the next episode. Uh, we'll continue this assault on the observatory. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. And have a wonderful 2018. Bye-bye.